Hello my dear students how are you and special hello to the parents namaste how are you all i hope you all are doing well i am sneha gupta the english educator from vedantu i hold the degree of my bachelor in commerce and ba and now pursuing my masters in commerce so dear parents i know you are little bit concerned about your child's education especially the english and the english grammar but i will say do not worry i am here now and i will try my best to resolve your tension regarding your child's education especially the english and the grammar portion so parents and my dear students from today we are going to start a new journey together of learning the english from the very beginning and for that our the first topic the very first topic i will say the very first topic will be the sentence and the phrase okay, okay. so before starting our topic we will take a riddle of the day okay so the riddle is there is only one word in the dictionary that spelled wrong what is it can you guess yes the parents can help their child just think just take a minute and think again and again okay you are doing good try yes try again okay take it as it homework okay just give me the answer in the comment box or you can give the answer in the next class also okay so let's start with the lesson the lesson is the sentence and the phrase first, first of all, all take a glance of the lesson what we are going to learn today in this video okay the first is what is sentence then we will take its example then after kinds of sentence and its example then the phrase its example and one thing also we are going to learn is the difference between the sentence and the phrase and after that we will practice some questions and then the part the main important part is the homework part which i am going to do okay so let's start so before starting the video i must say one thing that i have put all the definition of the given topics is as easy as i could so that you both means the parents also and the my dear student both can learn the chapter the topic very easily on their fingertips okay so can we start just say everyone okay just thumbs up thumbs up we can start then after we can start okay okay, okay let's start so let's start this sentence a sentence is a group of words that makes a complete sense or thought student just focus on this complete sense means a group of words means group of words mean what the different type of goods when uh, placed in a series then it makes a group so the group of word which makes a complete sense or complete thought then it will be known as the sentence so the, uh, one important part is that it contains the subject and a predicate it start with a capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark always remember my dear student that a sentence will always start with a capital letter and a punctuation mark let's understand it in a very better way okay so first of all tell me one thing that is boy a good good so on thus tell me the meaning of the sentence student can you find the meaning of the sentence just try once again i am not able to find the meaning of the sentence can you but can you find the meaning of this sentence sohan 
is a good boy now try to find the meaning of this particular sentence you can find it means suhan is a boy who is good so here we can find the meaning of this particular sentence so it is considered as a sentence but in this sentence we are unable to find the meaning it is not giving a sense in fact the complete sense so it will not be called as a sentence but it is a sentence okay try to one 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 more okay let's go uh, a beautiful rose the can you find the meaning of this sentence of course not my dear but can you find the meaning of this sentence just give me one minute rose is a beautiful flower okay so here we can find the meaning of sentence that rose is a beautiful flower we are talking about of one of the flowers that is rose which is very beautiful so here we can find the meaning of the sentence very easily so we can call it a sentence but it will not be a called as a sentence okay let's come to the next slide okay so the next topic is the kinds of sentence in a previous moments we understand what is sentence now the part is kinds of sentence there are four types of sentence how many types four types of sentence the first one is assertive the second one is interrogative and third one is imperative and the fourth one is exclamatory okay let's come the first one is assertive sentence the definition of this kind is a sentence which simply states or declares something means something states and declares something is called assertive sentence it is a kind of sentence which is nothing else just simply declares something states something states means what what we simply uh, uh, speak something is a statement is a, it is a kind of statement is known as assertive sentence it is also known it is also known as declarative sentence means declarative sentence and the assertive sentence both are same okay example for example c like sun sun rises in the east rises in the east here we can see that sun rises is in east is a statement okay so it is also known as declarative sentence and assertive sentence let's proceed yes and assertive sentence may be positive or a negative okay when a sentence tells something positive about anything any person it will be a positive sentence like ram is a good boy it is a positive sentence okay and when a sentence negates something do not tell positive anything about the topic then it will be negative sentence we will take the same example that ram is not a good boy what here ram is not a good boy means he is a bad boy naughty boy whatever we can say okay not a good boy good boy boy 
boy so it is a positive sentence it is a negative sentence and both are assertive sentence got it and one more thing is an assertive sentence always ends in full stop okay never forget to put a full stop after the assertive sentence let's proceed the second one is interrogative sentence so dear student have you heard the word interrogative or interrogation have you parents have you heard the word interrogative try to try to remember okay no issue if you have haven't heard no issue interrogative sentence means simply understand in single word interrogative mean question mark okay so interrogative sentence means a sentence that ask something is called interrogative sentence means a sentence which ask anything or inquire about anything okay then it will be known as interrogative sentence for example uh, i am saying that are you busy are you busy busy okay or i will or i say that are you enjoying my video are you enjoying the session are you in, enjoying the topic this all are what this all are interrogative sentence or i can say how are you my dear student how are you this is also a interrogative sentence okay so we always put a question mark what a question mark here it is question mark we always put a question mark at the end of this sentence so it is also a trick to find the sentence that whether it is interrogative or not by this sign we can find that the sentence is interrogative it is a trick okay the interrogative sentence can be two types okay first one is which belongs to wh family wh family means what when we ask the question that uh, what are you doing how are you where are you going okay this belongs to wh family and the second one is which begin with helping verb which begin with helping verb helping verb is what is am are have has was where this all are what helping verb that means uh, are you writing are you writing when i use r in the beginning or i can say that uh, ki uh, have you eaten the ice cream have you eaten the ice cream so here have is am are when we start in the beginning then it is also will be a interrogative sentence after that we also have to put the question mark got it let's come to the next portion the next part is imperative sentence okay are you enjoying na beta are you enjoying so the definition of the imperative sentence is a sentence that expresses a command a request an order or an advice is called imperative sentence okay so sometime what happen when we feel lazy okay then we give a order to our younger sister or younger brother that please give me a glass of water please please close the window please give me my pen please give my book have you done this ever we all we all do so this all are what this all are imperative sentence sometime our teacher in our class say stand up stand up what is this it is a it is a part of a command it will also a imperative sentence when i will say that please give me your pink dress give me your 
pink dress here i am requesting you that please give, give me your that pink dress which is very beautiful so here i am requesting you that please give me na please give me your pink dress so it is a what tell me it is a imperative sentence got it or uh, when i say don't cheat don't call so loud what will it will what will uh, what it will be it will be a imperative sentence i hope you got it can we proceed okay the last but not the least part is exclamatory sentence which sentence exclamatory sentence try to read it with me exclamatory sentence so a sentence that expresses some strong what some strong or sudden feeling is called exclamatory sentences okay after the sentence means every exclamatory sentence we put this marks mark of exclamation now understand what is exclamatory sentence when we go to play okay of uh, suddenly i hit my hand oh i hit my hand with a ball or any with any other child what we say oh god oh oh shit sometimes we say mama i hit my hand what is this these all are sudden feeling of our heart it is it is it pre decided that i will go to play i will hit my hand and i will say oh mama oh shit is it pre decided no na it is sudden feeling sudden means which is not pre decided which which comes in my mind suddenly and is a strong feeling what is it then it is exclamatory sentence when we news uh, when we heard any bad news especially the death of anyone so what we say alas how he died we say na like alas alas how he died he died d i e d died is we say how he, how he died means it's so uh, pain a sudden feeling of our heart it is known as exclamatory sentence hurray we won the match we say na hurray hurray we came fast in my class we say have you come first or second in your class how many of you come for, uh, top rank uh, bring the top, top top rank in your class okay you also okay nice nice but a nice very nice so this is also ex exclamatory sentence hurray i got the first rank in the frog race race it is a exclamatory sentence i hope you understand shall we proceed come our next topic is the phrase so we have completed the topic the sentence now we came to the phrase okay see the definition a group of words a group of words which makes sense but not complete sense is called phrase means here we will also see a series of word a group of word which will definitely make any sense i am not saying that it will not make any sense it will make sense but it will not make a complete sense as the sentence got it so it is phrase what phrase okay both subject and predicate are not present at the same time do you know what is subject and do you know what is pre -predi predicate take it as it your homework no in my next class i will ask to you that what is subject and what is predicate okay let's take the example of the phrase that uh, see under the tree 
under the the tree here we are getting the meaning of this line particular line that under the tree here we are talking about a portion which is which is under a tree but under the tree what what under the tree we are not getting the complete sense what i am trying to say can you understand that what is under the tree but when i say that uh, sohan sohan is sohan just one minute sohan is sitting sitting under the tree under the tree okay so here we got the complete sense that sohan is a boy who is sitting where under the tree got it here we can find the complete meaning but here we cannot find the complete meaning so it is a phrase understood do you know student there are total eight type of phrase but we are not going to discuss the eight types here because i know it is a first class to you and the class will get little bit lengthy for you and i don't want it okay so we will discuss the all the eight types of the phrase in our next class so at the end we are going to understand the difference between the sentence and the phrase so just tell me what we have read what is sentence we have read in a beta that sentence is a group of word that makes complete sense this complete sense complete sense okay my dear but in phrase what we have read that the phrase is also a group of word which makes sense i am not saying it will not make sense it will make sense but not complete sense what not complete sense not complete sense so it is the major difference it is the major difference between the se uh, sentence and the phrase do you want one more example do you want okay one second uh, by an hour by an hour okay here we are talking that something has happened by an hour but are you getting the complete meaning by an hour what by an hour just ask me ma'am what is by an hour can you getting the meaning i am also not getting don't worry i am also not getting don't worry relax 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 when i am saying that he has missed the has missed missed the train train by an hour now try to find the meaning of the sentence i can find can you here i am saying that he means he means he may be shohan he may be rahul he may be your father he may be my father my brother your brother anyone he has missed the train by how much time by an hour okay got it so i think you are now able to differentiate between the sentence and the phrase and parents too okay 
parents are you enjoying my session or not now the most important part that is my personal favorite part is the homework i know many of you do not like to get the homework but beta this is my favorite part na there are only five questions only how many question five question here you have to find the type of the following sentence acha type just tell me how many parts of sentence how many kinds of sentence what we have read there are four kind of sentence first one are were first one was assertive second was imperative third one was interrogative and fourth one tell me i will not tell tell me tell me fourth one is exclamatory okay so you have to find that this sentence is of what kind okay for example i am giving the exam example my mother drinks a cup of tea every morning whether it, it is assertive whether it is it is imperative exclamatory or interrogative i am not going to tell this this is your homework see what i have said it is a trick okay i am giving you the clue bus you have to only you have to do this okay so the dear student and the parents i hope you like this session for getting better experience are getting more attached with me you can take the paid classes where we can spend more time with together okay thank you and have a nice day